guess how much I lose? You wanna know? You want to know? You want to know? What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna do some crazy stuff and I came across this meal plan on the internet and I searched it on YouTube and a lot of people already did it so I thought hmm, if they can do it I can do it join me in my journey in my three-day military diet where you can lose 10 pounds yes you heard me right 10 fucking pounds so you will be given a specific meal each day for this diet for your breakfast lunch and dinner and they are food that's supposed to work together to help you lose fat and weight faster and it's a small portion of food but it is filling i'm actually excited to try it because you know summer is just around the corner let's see if uh that would really work so the first thing you should do on the first day is to weigh in yourself in the morning and write it down so you don't forget and then weigh again yourself on the fourth day in the morning once you get up so you get the exact um, number on how many pounds you actually lose so let's get this started so I'll see you after three days okay so day one first thing you want to do in the morning is to weigh in yourself so time and day check Alexa what's day today Today is Thursday, April 13th. So for the first day breakfast, you can either have a cup of black coffee or tea and have a, a cup of black coffee and then a slice of toast and I have a whole wheat toast with two tablespoons of peanut butter and half of the grapefruit. So let's eat this breakfast. Oh, and by the way, I use this peanut butter that has nothing in it but just peanuts. So if you want something that don't have other things with it but peanuts, then get this one. That peanut butter toast is so good. Mm, sweet. I'll finish my coffee and then I will see you for lunch. For our first day lunch, we have half cup of tuna. I use the tuna in vegetable oil, just add a little pepper and then again one slice of toast and one cup of black coffee. Let's dig into it. I know a lot of people have problem eating canned tuna because they find it nasty, but not me because I used to eat this a lot before so I just add a little pepper because I want a little spice into it a little kick and one tip if you feel hungry after your lunch just drink water on top of toast yes like so and eat it done I will finish my coffee and I'll see you later for dinner. So for first day dinner, I have an apple, a half of the banana, one cup of green beans, and three ounce of meat of your choice. And I have here a piece of drumstick, but honestly, I don't know how a three ounce of meat looks like, but I just boiled it and put pepper and lemon and then I remove the skin and this is what I'm excited about I have one cup of vanilla ice cream and of course water and remember that you need to drink water throughout the day so that's my dinner for tonight I know it's still bright but it's already 7 p.m. so I'm ready for my dinner boiled chicken it's not bad so I'm going to finish my dinner and I'll see you tomorrow on my second day. Good night everyone. Day second day. Time check. Alexa, what day today? Today is Friday, April 14th. So for breakfast we have egg, cook however you like, half of the banana 
and whole wheat toast and of course water don't forget to drink a lot of water throughout the day this is a lot of food what I'm gonna do it's like a feast like it's so many I can eat it in five seconds mm. And it is now time for lunch. For lunch, we have five saltine crackers, one boiled egg, and one cup of cold human barf. <laughs> no, that's a cottage cheese, which I am not so looking forward. First, I don't like cottage cheese. I'm not a fan of cottage cheese. I don't like the taste of it. I don't like the texture of it. It tastes like human barf and the texture is just like human barf. So, good luck to me. And of course, water, lots and lots of water throughout the day. So, um, yeah, let's do this. I don't have a bad smell, but the texture is what bothers me. I don't understand why people eat this. Why Brian eat this? It tastes like human barf. It looks like barf and the texture and the taste is just like human barf. So would help but good. That helps a little? Not too much. So I don't want you guys to watch me suffering while, while eating this so I'm gonna finish my lunch and I'll see you later at dinner time okay bye bye up here second day and it's dinner time so for dinner I have a cup of broccoli a half cup of carrots and just two hot dogs so I never had hot dogs for the longest time because I'm trying to avoid processed food but I'm actually quite surprised that they have processed food in this diet but I'm not in the right position I'm not if this is not the right time for me to be too picky and not eat this cuz I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna eat this like a monster that's a food big food for dinner so I'm gonna finish all this and then eat my eat my ice cream and banana and then probably go to bed early again because I went to bed early last night that's all for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning breakfast okay bye bye we are on the final day of our military diet and for the third day breakfast I have an apple that I slice five saltine crackers and yes a slice of cheddar cheese I actually had a medium cheddar but yeah, that's going to be our breakfast for today, so let's dig into it. Divide my cheese into five. So I don't know when I do that, but it's my final day. I can't wait for this day to end. And I'm so excited for my lunch, and I'm going to show you later on what my lunch would be. Watch out for that. Finish this, and I will see you later at lunch. Babush! So for our final day, day 3 lunch, I have, are you ready? Are you excited? I'm excited. This is the most fabulous lunch I ever had. Wanna see it? Wanna see it? Now? Like now? 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 Here you go. Toast and boiled egg. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed by this. I'm so happy. I can't believe it. Do you even need a plate for this? water to push this down my throat so I'll see you again later for my dinner my last day for this challenge so see you guys tonight bye and for our third day our final day dinner I have a cup of tuna 
a cup of vanilla ice cream and half of the banana and of course water this is a lot of tuna one cup for today so I just put pepper in it actually didn't feel so hungry compared to the first day and second day like I feel okay today Let's drink lots of water I think that helps tomorrow we will know how much weight do I lost so that's all for today I'm gonna finish my dinner and I will see you tomorrow bye bye morning it's way in time but first let's do date check first Alexa what day today today is Sunday April 16th moment of truth moment of truth hey. I'm back so I was able to finish the three-day military diet challenge and I survived Yay! it was a three-day military diet in which you could lose at least 10 pounds or more or less it varies depending on the person but guess how much I lose you want to know you want to know you want to know I lose 5.7 pounds I know it's not 10 but doing it for three days and losing 5.7 pounds it's it's not bad I mean I watch some people who lose two pounds three pounds seven pounds I watch a couple that do more than 10 pounds actually and it all depends on the person if I base it on my body type, like my body has the, just, just the right amount of fats and most of the fats that I have now is around my um, core and it's a stubborn fat and those fats are the ones that are hardest to get rid of and I was still able to manage to lose uh, weight. I'm not sure if I lose muscle mass maybe I do results various in different person like any other things different people reacts differently so let's just put it that way but I lose 5.7 pounds I'm happy about that and would I do it again yes but I'm not gonna do it every week I'm just gonna do it whenever I feel like I need to do it the first day was the hardest like any other things that you try the first day was always the hardest the first time was always the hardest so I get hungry even before lunch or dinner and the struggle is real I mean whether it's a big struggle or small struggle struggle is struggle and the struggle is real and I don't really have complaint with the food because I'm not a picky eater I can eat anything so tuna I have no problem eating tuna in can cottage cheese was a challenge to me but it wasn't that bad so I was able to eat the one cup of cottage cheese but it took me time but it's all good you know no pain no gain I always believe in that and second day the struggle is just a little and third day that's when I think my body got used to it so there's no more like struggle that on the third day I had a little headache but I'm not sure if it's from that diet or just me always on the computer from morning till evening but it's nothing like serious so what I do was I drink a lot of water because you need that throughout the day so whenever I feel like I'm hungry I just drink water because you don't want to dehydrate okay you don't want to dehydrate yourself and you don't want to die and I don't do heavy workout don't do heavy workout because you are limited to a very low calorie and you don't want to 
burn more calories more than you intake because what's gonna happen you're gonna faint you're not gonna feel well and I don't want you to die and I don't want you you to blame me so I'm telling you don't do heavy workout don't do crazy strenuous exercise I did a little push-ups and pull-ups here and there but that's about it and I just do my daily routine and yeah I mean if you want to try it try it but my advice is that after the first day and you feel terrible about doing it and you don't feel well so I suggest that you stop because you don't want to kill yourself okay um, so if you want to if you want to know more about this diet I will leave the link on the description box down below and you just go check it out yourself so yeah I think that this diet is a it's, it's an effective diet but I don't think that it's for everyone because I'm a small eater and I still do struggle so what more with people who are used to eating big meals and all of a sudden you're gonna eat like one five calories thousand less in a day so it's gonna be a struggle and, and, and also it depends on what you do in your everyday life so you know there's a lot of things to consider before you go and try it so yeah i just leave it up to you i i did my part i shared to you my experience and i shared to you what i think you should do and not do during this um diet plan so and thanks for joining me in my three-day journey and i hope that you learned something with this video and if you have any question just write it in the comment down below and like this video if you like it and share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe click that subscribe button and that bell next to it so you will get notified every time i put up a new video so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one Bye bye